Hey, today we're going to make a video how to take our image of a brick wall and get our tile texture out of it. Using the lasso tool, I'll make my selection and after that I'll invert my selection. I'll press delete to delete all the remaining of the image by dragging the rulers with the move tool I get guiding lines if you don't have the rulers you go to view and under view you got rulers you can add them press invert selection with a selection tool to get the brick selected press ctrl T to get to the free transform mode choose the distort and align the image to the rulers you can also press Ctrl and get it the distort mode. Using the guiding lines, crop the image and the right size. With the move tools, move the guiding lines to align the cement rows. Using Ctrl T, align the cement lines with the guiding line. In this image, we have some lens distortion in the middle. So we're going to use the warp, right click, select warp, and align the midpoints by dragging the image to the guiding lines. I'm happy with the result now, so I'm going to crop the brick rows. Go to view, clear guidelines. I like doing uh, some color adjustment at this point. I go to filter, camera raw filter. It helps, you know, choose the tone of the brick you want to get. And sometimes you can fix the image like that. Just you slide around the sliders and get a good result. Now it's time to tile the image. Go to filter, other, offset. Now slide around the sliders a little bit because on default it comes straight so you need to like move it a little bit and you'll get a good result like a little bit like half of the picture usually. Now using the clone stamp tool um, with the soft brush you just uh, pick and choose and uh, you know move around some bricks get a good result for the cement I'm going to use a little bit smaller brush and again you know just going around picking with alt and filling up the the line from the offset This image has some uh, discoloration, so I'm going to use uh, adjustment layer, uh, heap saturation, and with some uh, masks, I'm going to make it fit nice. So I'm going to fill the mask with black on the dark side, so you can't see any effect of the heap saturation. And I'll put a gradient map on the bright side. And then I'm going in to adjust it so it looks nice with a small brush or a soft brush. And usually I get good results like that. I like using a, a hue saturation. It gets like pretty close result and you can almost control all the aspects 
black, white, all the colors. And um, for me, that works the best. When I'm happy with my uh, adjustments, so I just select both layers, right click and merge layers. So now I will offset it back to the original and I will save an image. This is some rendering that I used uh, the material and you can see it came out pretty nice. Thank you for watching and please like and subscribe.